Hello everybody, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. Now, as you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a review for a very old fragrance that came out in 1984 and this fragrance is classed as a great find to anyone who can get their hands on it. So for me to have this fragrance, I feel really honored and proud because not only is this a great fragrance, like in terms of smell and you know, whatnot, but its background story is incredible and I just love what this fragrance is based on. As you guys saw at the beginning of this video, I showed you guys a very famous ocean liner. Well, this is the fragrance that it's based after and this is a scent called French Line and this came out by Revlon in 1984. Now launched in 1984, this fragrance is known as a Chypre, but to my nose, this does smell like a leather oriental scent. Now French Line is actually based after the most beautiful ship in the world that the world has ever seen and that ship is the SS Normandy. It was made by the French in 1932 and she had her maiden voyage in 1935. Sadly the ship caught fire in 1942 and the ship had to be scrapped. Pretty sad. If you look at pictures of this ship it's absolutely beautiful. Well you guys already saw some of the pictures at the beginning of the video. but. The gorgeous ship and this fragrance is just a trademark to the elegant and classy side that that ship really was. Now this fragrance is supposed to capture the elegance and the beauty of that so-called French line. Um, and of course the French line was the nickname of the SS Normandy and it was the first ocean liner, believe it or not, this was the first ever ocean liner to be run on electricity. And you know, ships before that, including the famous RMS Titanic and other ships like the uh, the RMS Majestic and the RMS um, RMS Olympic. Sorry, that's what it was called. I forgot the name of it there. Bloody hell! But so yes, uh, it was the first ship to be run on electrical power. So. At the time, people couldn't believe it, it was a new thing, and this became one of the most expensive ships to be ever made. Sadly, the ship only lasted about eight years, which isn't a long time for, you know, some ships. Some ships lasted way longer than that. And ever since its release, ever since the ship was made, it's become a revolutionary turnaround for all ships to be made from years to come ever since then. So yes, let's stop talking about ships and let's get on with this fragrance. Now this fragrance, French Line, is a vintage find that I purchased from my friend Dalius in Lithuania. And I'm just so happy to have this. With its original box and everything, this is just amazing. This is a 5ml size bottle. Um, this is a very rare fragrance and you know, you can get bigger bottles online but they go for very expensive prices. I got this for a good deal and I'm just so happy to have it. So let me show you guys what the bottle looks like. Here we have the beautiful bottle right here. Just a gorgeous bottle, I just love it. Absolutely beautiful. The sticker's starting to come off, but I, you know, I've come to realize that due to its age, it really adds a bit of a, uh, you know, a nice feel to it because it is old. And as you guys know, I like my old scents, you know? So yes, uh, this is one of the, this would have been a 1984 release. This is one of the free samples that uh, desks in department stores would have gave people for free to try out. Or maybe not even for free, they might have, you know, been a couple of dollars, a couple of, you know, well, whatever money would have been back then. But uh, yes, let's uh, get into it and smell the scent. Now the first thing, like the first thing I thought of when I smelled this fragrance was how like, I mean, in terms of vibes, like straight away, like it was rich, elegant, vintage, bold, masculine, strong, a very handsome scent. Like I can imagine this scent being worn by a very handsome gentleman. And I found it very unique. It's a very different fragrance from anything else that I've ever smelled. In terms of a powerhouse scent, it's just absolutely amazing. In fact, like, this is the type of fragrance that I can imagine a French crooner smelling like. So somebody like Jean Sablon, somebody like him wearing this fragrance because it just captures French elegance. And I guess it all comes from the ship. I mean, the, the ship itself just shows you how beautiful, you know, the French really can be with their creations. And 
I mean, Revlon have done a great job with this fragrance. They really have because this fragrance just smells so, so beautiful. Now, in terms of the notes, we get Artemisia, Coriander, Basil, Bergamot, and Lemon in the top. So we get this sort of musky, but slightly citrusy opening, but I guess the coriander and the basil adds this unique taste on the uh, on the first initial smell. I mean, it's really, really good, but it's certainly different. So if you were to smell this fragrance for the first time, you might be thinking, well, this is too different. I don't know what to think of it. I mean, that's kind of what I thought, but I like unique, I like different, so this fragrance worked for me from the first smell. Then in the middle, we get carnation, orris root, jasmine, caraway, and rose. Now, after about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, maybe close to an hour, the rose is the most dominant note in the middle. It kind of smells to me like a lipstick sort of smell. So what I get is this sort of um, slightly citrusy opening with that, you know, that unique taste on the basil and the artemisia creating that unique blend. But then the, the rose really comes into magic in the middle and it creates this sort of romantic smell. Um, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. In terms of the orris root, I do also get the orris root, orris root a little bit. It's not as strong as I would have liked it to be because I like the smell of orris root. It, it's, it's sort of an earthy smell and it's really, really nice, but it's not as strong as I would have liked it to be. And the jasmine is also pretty strong, but overall the first, the first thing you smell is that red rose and it just smells incredibly romantic, incredibly beautiful. It's just perfect. Then in the dry down, we get leather. We get amber, patchouli, musk, and get this, coconut. Yeah, we get coconut. I remember reading this list for the first time and being a bit surprised. I mean, looking at all the notes in this rings, we get a lot of, you know, oriental notes. So we're getting the artemisia, the coriander, the basil, we get a lot of herbs. And then the florals in the middle, like the jasmine and the rose. And then we get the leather and the amber and the patchouli and the musk. They all seem normal, right? Animalic sort of notes. But then we get coconut. And this coconut note continues to surprise me whenever I smell the springs because I just, I don't get the coconut that much. I mean, I'm, I mean, I looked at a review on Fragrantica and somebody said that the coconut in this fragrance isn't like your typical tropical coconut. This is a very, um, to me, this is a very sort of elegant, blended, sort of spicy coconut. Very, very strange. I've never really smelled a coconut like it, but when it dries down, you can tell that it's coconut. Just, it's not a very popular smelling coconut. It's very, very different. But the dry down in this fragrance is beautiful. Overall, this is a leathery fragrance, so we do get leather throughout the whole scent, but the leather really brings this richness to it, and it makes the fragrance very warm, and it really captivates you to the scent straight away. Like, I've already talked about how unique it is, but like, I don't think th the word unique is enough. I think that this fragrance is a, it's like, it's something which I've never experienced before. And I will be treasuring this fragrance for as long as I possibly can. I mean, if I ever wear this fragrance, I'll probably wear it for, you know, smart suited up occasions. That's why I put my coat on. I know I don't look exactly smart, but I did want to make, oh, it's got in my hand, great. But I do like to make a bit of a uh, an impression when it comes to these sort of elegant scents. But what I've done is I've put a little bit more in my hands, so... So yes, like, it's just rich. Like, a very rich, very handsome fragrance. Um, definitely vintage as well. I mean, this doesn't smell like anything else that I don't think will ever get released ever again. If it does, it'll probably be made modernized, but or modernized up. I don't really think that this fragrance will be made ever again. It's it's totally, um, it's funny because even though it was released in 1984, this fragrance to me smells like it should have been, should have been released in 1934. Because when I smell this, I do get a lot of 1930s elegance. I actually get a sort of interior design, like an interior sort of smell to perhaps the SS Normandy. I get the sort of leathery seat sort of smells. I get the lipstick that maybe the elegant women would have worn on the lips. I get this sort of makeup smell. I'm, I, I don't know if Iris is in the springs, but I do get Iris 
like a lipstick sort of smell and obviously iris is known for that smell so i do get that but overall again interior sort of uh What's the word? First class sort of smell. So I, I do get a very rich sort of like opening out of this fragrance. But yes, it's just it's just perfect. Like this do, it definitely does smell like the type of fragrance that a 1930s gentleman would wear. Like it's just beyond unique. It's outstanding in my opinion. Like I mean, I, as you guys know, I love fragrances like Balenciaga Put On. I love fragrances that are just so captivating and, and bold and strong that really have a lot of character. This one, to me, is just a fine example of that. It really is. Like, this is probably one of the most amazing fragrances that I've ever smelled. And I cannot believe it's as rare as this. Because I haven't come across any of the reviews online for this, like, in, ter in terms of video reviews. So I guess I am the only one. So that's a good feeling. But I would highly recommend you guys go out and try and find this. I mean, it is rare. It is available, just not as available as a lot of other discontinued scents. I mean, it's old... I don't even know if this fragrance did well in the 80s or not. I mean, I cannot imagine it, it doing badly because it's just, it smells great. I can imagine it being suited for that time. But please go out and try it. This is French Line by Revlon. This is a fragrance inspired by the very famous and beautiful ocean liner made by the French known as the SS Normandy. I really do hope you've enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think of this fragrance in the comments below and I will get back to you and also guys if you want to see any more reviews on any more of your typical sort of old school vintage not very popular scents please let me know and I will see what I can do so thank you so much for watching guys keep smelling good have a great day and bye bye for now